Hi, my name is Chris with Aceta, and today we're going to be showing you how to PM and properly maintain your Fanuc R2000 IC 165 floor mounted robot. Right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and just identify if you have any further questions before and or after this video, please do feel free to reach out to us via our website at www.aceta.com or by calling us uh, 844 for Aceta. We'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the inlets and the outlets on this robot and we'll uh, show you how to grease it. The first thing we'll show you before we get into showing you all of the inlets and outlets on your robot, one of those things that we do very first is we make sure that all the outlet plugs are pulled uh, from the robot. Um, and then one thing to remember or to keep in mind once you have finished uh, greasing your robot, you want to make sure that you exercise your robot for 10 to 20 minutes uh, after greasing to allow any residual grease that's in the cavity to, to come out of the outlet. Once that has been done, you can go ahead and put all those outlet plugs back in. So I'm going to show you now how to remove that. Again, uh, on the R2000, it will be a mixture of a, uh, an M10 or a M10 Allen key. And so I cracked it loose here. I'm just going to take my impact get it on the outlet bolt, remove it. Once I'm done, uh, there you go, I've removed it. So I'm gonna go through the entire robot and we'll go through and show you now uh, where all the outlet plugs are. Once uh, you're done, go ahead and put this back in. Be sure that you do. Showing you the J1 outlet, uh, accompanied by the J2 inlet here on this side of the robot, right below the J1 motor is where your grease outlet port is for the J1. Underneath the motor, we'll get a better shot, but underneath the motor here is your J2 inlet. Moving along to J3, here on this side is your J3 inlet. J4, your inlet is actually on this bottom plug. This needs to be removed and your outlet is right on the same side here. So inlet, outlet. Your, J, your J4, 5, and 6 um, your inlet is on the bottom of the J4 casting. Your outlet is right here on this bolt. So this bolt will need to be removed. Your other outlet, once you have pushed grease through here, you have a couple more outlets on the other side. We'll come over to the other side and we'll get that video, get that for you. Your J6 is separate from this cavity, meaning that you can't take and push grease from this point all the way out to the end of the wrist. That's why they have this grease port here. This is your inlet here. And actually on the other side of this robot, up on the top of the wrist here is your outlet. We'll get some better shots for you just coming up in a bit. Coming to this side of our R2000, 165, um, our J6 outlet, like I showed you just on the other side, but we're gonna take a look at that. Your outlet port is here located on the top. Your outlet, when you push grease from this point, the other two outlets that I mentioned before were this point here and this point. You can actually just pull this outlet port and push grease from here through the, through the wrist and then out this port here. Moving further back, I know I showed you the inlet on J3. We're gonna talk about that J3 outlet. Um, and so that J3 outlet is located right underneath or right below, it's kind of, if you look at the R2000 construction here, there's an odd bolt out. And so that odd bolt right here is your outlet for J3. Moving right along down uh, towards J2. Um, again, if you look at the construction of how the J2 uh, assembly is actually bolted on, the outlet is actually, again, the, out, the odd bolt out. And so we'll look for that bolt here. And so as you push grease in from the other side, Again, you should look for that grease flow to come out here. Moving down to our base, I showed you where on the other side, where uh, the outlet is underneath that J1 motor. Your inlet, you gotta kinda get on your hands and knees here, but it is actually located on the base of the robot, located where my hand is currently. After that, uh, again, uh, any questions about application or what we use to push grease through the robot, again, feel free to call us at 844 for Aceta or on our website, reach out to us at www.aceta.com.
After you've gone through and greased J1 through J6 on your R2000, the last two portion, the last two things that need to be greased are, uh, is, your, is your balancer. And there's two points on the balancer that need to be greased. Um, there are already uh, greased zerks uh, that Fanuc has put on those two at, those points. And one is on the uh, left side and one is on the right side. And so those will need to be greased as well. You simply push grease through there until you can see it in between or coming out of uh, these two cavities here. And so once you've done so uh, and see a little bit of that grease coming out, you've got it greased and you're good to go. The next thing we're gonna do after we've exercised our robot for about 10 to 20 minutes, so we're gonna replace the D-cell batteries in the base of this robot. Now it is important that you do keep the power on to your robot when you are replacing these batteries. If you don't, uh, you're gonna have a bad day. Uh, so with that, we'll go ahead and get started on replacing the batteries. Again, I'm gonna need a Phillips screwdriver for this. Uh, and here's our battery box. And so I'm just gonna release or take the battery box cover off. Gonna remove the cover. So I'm gonna remove the cover, set that down. Again, I'll remove the batteries out of the base. Four D cell batteries are what is needed. Again, the diagram is located on the inside of this battery box on either side. So you can know exactly how to put those batteries back in. Putting the battery box back, box back on, I'm going to make sure that that FANUC lettering is facing towards the ground. Put that battery box back on. Once I start tightening these screws down, screws down I want to make sure that I'm not going to over tighten them and that uh, the bolt head will can or is susceptible to snapping off if you over torque it. So just nice and snug. That's it. Once you have changed the grease in your robot, exercised and changed the batteries in the base of the robot, the last battery that you need to change is the one here in the controller. Again, do be sure there is high voltage in this controller, so do be sure that you are complying with your uh, workplace's uh, safety. And so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the robot controller and the main power disconnect here uh, going to the top side of my disconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to the left. That'll turn off the robot controller. I have about 30 minutes to change this battery out before I lose the contents that is of my memory. And so with that, do keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the main disconnect. And once I do so, I'm gonna take my flathead screwdriver, insert it into the lock, just give that a turn. To open the door, I'm gonna take and turn my disconnect to the right, to the left. And I'll open up the door. At which point I'm gonna locate the battery located here on the top of the main board. I'm gonna give it a firm grip on the two leads going that, on the connector. I'm gonna give it a gentle pull out, at which point I'm gonna release the battery. There's a little tab here. If I pull that tab to the right, that will release the battery. And so this is your RAM battery. Once you have a new replacement, um, there is no special uh, connector or anything that you need to do, uh, you can just reinsert this back in to your main board. So with new battery in hand, we're gonna go up to uh, the plug-in, uh, being sure that it doesn't bend any of the pins over. You'll feel a click once you have inserted it correctly all the way. And then I'm gonna take and push the battery back into the holder and you will just have to uh, push it in all the way until it's seated. Once I'm finished, I can go ahead and close the door up and that has been uh, PMing your R2000 IC165 floor mounted robot. We've greased, changed the batteries in the base and in, your, in the controller of the robot. If you have any further questions like what type of applicator we use to grease the robot with or any other general questions about robotics or how to service this robot in particular, do feel free to reach out, out to us uh, on our website www.aceda.com or uh, our phone number is 844-4-ACEDA.